For those who build pivot tables in Excel, basic computations such as summing large volumes of data rarely present challenges. However, when other types of calculations are necessary, such as percentages and cumulative percentages, things can become a little more challenging. In this tip, you are going to learn how to add percentage calculations to your pivot tables as well as how to compute cumulative percentages within the pivot table. To begin, consider the pivot table currently shown on screen. This pivot table sums disbursements by vendor for a fiscal year. In addition to seeing total disbursements, suppose you would also like to see the relative percentages of disbursements for each vendor. To add a percentage calculation to the pivot table, add the amount field from the source data to the pivot table a second time into the values area as currently shown on the screen. Once the amount field exists a second time on the pivot table, right click in that column and choose Value Field Settings. In the Value Field Settings dialog box, click the Show Values As tab and change the calculation from no calculation to percent of column total. We'll also take this opportunity to change the name and upon clicking OK we find that the pivot table is now calculating the relative percentage of each vendor's expenditure as compared to all vendors. Keep in mind in this example there are approximately 440 vendors. Now let's extend the illustration a bit further. Suppose you also want to see cumulative percentages. For example, suppose you want to see which vendors when sorted in descending order based on total expenditures account for 80 percent of your total expenditures for the year. To accomplish this, begin by sorting the pivot table in descending order. We will do this by clicking on the drop down arrow next to the vendor name, choosing more sort options, descending, but not based on the vendor code, rather based on total disbursements. Now our pivot table is sorted in descending order. Once you have sorted the data, add the amount field to the pivot table yet again. Click and drag and add the amount field to the values area. Now, as we did before, let's right click in this field and choose Value Field Settings. Let's return to the Show Values As tab and change the calculation once again from No Calculation. This time, however, we will choose Percent Running Total. Percent Running Total in the vendor code. Again, let's change the name. In this case, we will call it cumulative percentage. And upon clicking OK, the pivot table updates to display cumulative percentages as currently shown on the screen. Pivot tables are in the minds of many Excel's most powerful function. Unfortunately, some struggle with creating calculations inside their pivot tables and often resort to manual and error-prone procedures outside of their pivot tables to create these calculations. As clearly demonstrated here, that is usually not necessary. By adding the numeric field on which the calculation is based onto the pivot table multiple times and changing the field settings for that field, calculations such as percentages and cumulative percentages are relatively easy. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.